Hey guys, it's Tyler. Welcome to Tyler Fixes Things. I'm the owner of Harkins Equipment here. We work on all kinds of different things, whether it's small or large, diesel, gas, propane, electric, do pretty much all of it. Now I don't have enough space in the shop I have to work on automotive, but that's where a lot of my time has been spent. Heavy duty, light duty, I'm talking working on semis, passenger vehicles, light trucks, heavy trucks, medium duty trucks, those sorts of things. But I've got a good friend of mine having some problems with his GMC truck, some weird electrical issues. So he said, hey Ty, hey man, could you take a look? At least I trust your honest opinion to see what you think of this thing. So he brought this truck over here and what we got is a 2006 2500 GMC HD. Mess that all up. He's got 2006 GMC 2500. And the issue he's having is he has a phantom turn signal flash. So when you've got your headlight selector on the full headlights or you have it auto and it's nighttime when they're illuminated when you turn on the right signal the left side also flashes but it's dim and then vice versa you've got the left signal on the right side flashes with it but it's also dim now when you turn the headlights all the way down to off there's no problems it's only when the headlights are on that you get this phantom flash and he also said that the horn doesn't work I thought maybe these might be two different related things so what we've done is I got the truck in here, started checking fuses. I saw one of the fuses that had been upgraded on one of the turn signals. It was supposed to have a 10, it had a 20 in there. So my mind, I kind of come to the conclusion that must have blown before and somebody replaced it with whatever they had or a spare. So I started pulling out fuses, checking those first. The connections were kind of corroded, cleaned them up, putting new fuses in there. But still yet, my phantom flash condition existed and I had no horn. So after doing a little bit of research, I found down the actual chassis wiring for this truck and was able to go through and uh, find mapping for the grounds. So long story short, which I never do that, it's just something I say when I realize I start talking for a while, so I'm sure you do the same thing if you're a talker. I popped the hood on this thing, pulled out the headlights, and started checking actual power and everything going to the headlights. Maybe I figured ah, I could have a wiring issue up here. So come to find out, my headlights, I was getting good 12 volts to the pigtail going into the headlight on the driver's side and the ground was good as well. And I checked that for the signals, the park lights and everything on the driver's side was well. I had a nice bright headlight. The passenger side, I also noted the headlight was a little bit dim so I checked the power going to it as well. Well the power I was getting to that side was about 9.7 somewhere around there. Battery voltage was sitting at about 12.11 because I had the key on it was drawn it wasn't running so about 12.11. So okay so I got partial voltage here so I checked my voltage going to that pigtail once more using the battery as a ground. So I used the battery as a ground and I had 12.11 volts so it's told me I had good power going to my little pigtail going to the headlight but my ground was compromised so I did a continuity check when I stuck it in to the negative pigtail on my turn signals, headlamps, and everything else on the passenger side, the side that was dim, touched it to ground, I had no reading, like it wasn't connected, which tells me there was no ground. And how I was reading a partial ground? Good question. So I pulled up the harness, found the chassis diagram, and apparently there is a lot of things that run off of this ground point on the truck. So all I'm really trying to get to you, after all this talking, what I'm really trying to say is, I know we had good power, we have ground problems. Where are the grounds? I'm gonna show you. If you're having any of these problems that are on this list here, and you've got good voltage going to that component and your ground seems compromised, check this main ground area first, okay? This one, it just so happened, once I found out where it was, the wires were just hanging there. The bolt that holds the ring terminals was back in the frame, but the wires were just dangling. So. Oh, what is that? Smell like chocolate. Somebody has specifically taken this off at one point, maybe did some body work or did something up front, not really sure. But the partial ground we were getting is from that wire was laying there. The jacket was curled up. It had rubbed through the frame enough to just barely give that wire some ground. So what happens is once we fixed this ground issue, got the frame cleaned up, the ring turn was cleaned up, put the bolt back on there, Everything worked well, and the horns worked well. All was good, the headlight was bright again. The reason we were getting a phantom flash is the filaments in a head, headlight bulb 
you know, they're cont if you were to test them with a, a meter, you'd have continuity through the light bulb because it goes up through the light bulb, through the filament, and back down as long as the headlight's in good condition. So with all these things being connected and that partial ground we had, electricity is lazy. It will find the path of least resistance to get to its destination. I think, think about electrical theory a little bit here, is it finds the quickest path it can. It had good power, it needed a ground. So what's it gonna do? It's gonna try to find ground the best place it can. The best place it had was to go back through the harness somewhere. Current moving through anything will make something move. So even a light bulb, even if I was to take and put the light bulb in the middle of a one wire circuit, if something is moving in the circuit, the light bulb is gonna come on. So because there was current moving through the light bulb, it made that light bulb flash because it was trying to hunt for ground and it was going through the headlight fixtures and everything. And even the taillights were doing this because it was all chasing through this ground and making everything flash. So once we solved that issue, we had good horn both sides because the horn shared the same ground designations as the passenger side headlight assemblies. The driver's side gets it from a different place but eventually goes back in somewhere else if you look at the diagrams. Ultimately, the ground was the main issue. So I was able to take care of this for the guy. We, we worked together years ago. We've been friends ever since, but I was able to look at this for him, get it figured out. And now he's got his horn back, his headlights bright again, and no phantom flash. So we're hoping everything's all good, but I just wanted to share this information with you, save you some time, because if you're having any issues with these things, check your grounds, check your power, get you back on the road again. God bless. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.